Hi, I'm Eric McGregor, product specialist with the Akai Professional. We're here in Anaheim at Winter NAM 2009, and I'm standing in front of the Akai Professional APC40 Ableton Controller. This stands for Ableton Performance Controller, and the 40 refers to your 5x8 grid of clip and scene selections that you have on the interface. These will launch any different clips that you have selected on the screen within this red rectangle, which is also 8x5. So anything that you have in your white rectangle down here corresponds directly to what you have on the screen. If I press a button, it'll basically launch a drum clip. I have all my drums in the first track, more drums in the second tra track, bass, synths, audio, and I can launch a scene or I can just pick individual clips. So I'll continue pressing a few buttons, build up a few more drums, bring in a bass line, Bring in a synth, adjust the volume, add a few audio clips. So one really cool thing about the APC40 is that we're utilizing a proprietary bi-directional protocol. What this means is that when I touch a button, it updates my screen and makes a change for me and you see that result on the screen. The cool thing is the information then comes back down to the controller and updates the interface of the controller as well. So if I move my 8x5 grid around my screen up here, my interface changes as well as my knobs have LEDs that memorize exactly what I've changed no matter where I go or what changes I make. I can always come back and right now I've panned my track one over, I can pan it back up. And so the screen basically shows the result of my pan right here. I see it move on there, and then I also see it move on the control surface. This happens all over this unit, again, utilizing our proprietary bi-directional protocol. Now I can launch a scene, which is basically a combination of drums, bass, synth, audio, by pressing a scene launch. I can move around from different scene selections by basically just bringing in different guys. So again, this is my track control area. So for each one of my eight tracks that I have over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knobs that I can either do a pan, I can do send A, B, and C, all from these controls. So I actually have 32 control knobs right here mapped out for my eight tracks. Below that, this is how I move my red square around and adjust which clips I'm looking at. I can go up, down, left, right, or if I want to jump in groups of five, I can hold shift and down, up, or if I hit right or left, I'll move in groups of eight across my screen up here. Now I have a tap tempo, so if I want to, I can take this up or I can bring it back down. I can nudge my tempo up or down as well. Below that, I have my device control area. Now this will bring up, for notice on this actual track that I have selected, I have an effect on this track. On this track, I can use my device controls would show me where my readouts are and give me feedback and I also adjust on the screen the effect. Anytime I have a device, whether I'm in my master and I have multiple devices, I can move back and forth, I can turn on or off individual devices and I can also still make parameter changes on those guys. My clip track button will move my screen from showing the details down here to just bringing out uh, the clip itself if I had a WAV file there. My detail view will actually make all of my parameters or effects disappear and I'll bring out the massive grid right there on top of it. You also have controls for record quantization, MIDI dub, and your metronome if you're going to be actually recording live on the fly. Your transport controls and a crossfader. So let me show you something really quick. I'm going to solo out my two drum tracks that I have. And I actually have, you can see on the screen, track one has been selected to A, track two is to B. And I can actually crossfade left, right.
So I've got an assignable crossfader that I can pick between two, any two tracks that I want to on my screen. Now finally, on the bottom center section, we have volume controls for all of our different tracks. So I can bring my drums down, I can bring them back up, I can start bringing my bass line back in. These are all my activator buttons that'll either drop a track out or bring it back in for you. You have a solo cue, so if I just want to hear my bass real fast, And then you also have record arm if you want to do any MIDI dubbing over top of anything or recording audio. Your track selections, if you press this, this will bring up on your screen any effects or clips that you have on these guys. So as I go along here, we've got a track that actually has an effect and now I can go back to my device control if I want and adjust some of these effects however I want to assign these guys. And then finally below that you have stop clips so I can drop out my drums. I can drop out my other drums. I can drop out the synths. Leaving just the bass and now stop all clips. And that's basically the Akai Professional APC40 here at Winter Nam. This product has had immense, awesome, fabulous reception from everybody that has come by. And one final note, I'd like to make mention that this is the only controller endorsed by both Akai Professional and Ableton, and our logos are on the front of this to prove that this is the controller for Ableton if you're a user of this software.